Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose ignition system uh, using the oscilloscope. So we're gonna read the ignition system waveform and we try to analyze the ignition system waveform to see how waveform will change in case of having any sort of fault on the engine and how we can generally use the waveform for diagnosing the ignition system. So today I'm using a launch oscilloscope and uh, launch scan tool as well as a display. So on the oscilloscope, I have four channels. I'm using channel one, and because I'm working on an ignition system and the peak voltage on the ignition system is gonna go high, uh, I have to use the attenuator. And this one will convert the voltage, as you see this one, 20 times to make it possible for my oscilloscope to read the voltage. If you are checking the waveform on the ignition system, you have to use this attenuator, which is connected here. At the other end of the cable, I have ground, and this one goes to the ignition coil uh, control line. On my scan tool, which is a launch X431, I need to find the toolbox and scope box right here. So I have channel one connected. I need to do some adjustments. If I'm not using the attenuator, this one must be on one. It means whatever voltage I'm measuring is exactly what my oscilloscope is showing me. But because I do have attenuator and that attenuator is 20X, I need to click on 20X and oscilloscope will actually change the reading voltage to something real. Okay, let's start the engine and read the waveform. All right, I'm not getting anything right now because I have not inserted this one into the ignition coil. Obviously, this is coil unplugged with two pins, so I need to insert this one into control line. The other one is the power supply, this one is control line. And now, and now I'm getting the waveform. So I can do some adjustment here as well. All right, this is my ignition uh, system waveform. Let's stop it and read the waveform. So I'm gonna stop the car right now to read the waveform properly. So basically whatever I have here is actually the waveform from my ignition coil. This period of time from here up to this point, this is my ignition coil dual time. This is exactly when uh, ECM provides the ground to primary winding and this period of time it's exactly when primary coil is generating magnetic field so basically here is when ecm provides the ground on primary coil and here is when ecm cuts the ground on primary coil and magnetic field collapses and that's when we have this uh, peak voltage all right and the peak voltage can go as high as 200 250 volt is really based on the ignition coil and your engine and then what we have here is exactly a spark duration so here is exactly when a spark is happening and high voltage is getting discharged through the spark plug but what we can do for diagnostic first of all obviously you can compare the waveform uh, between different cylinders and obviously on that cylinder that you have fault the ignition system waveform would be different uh, sometimes on workshop manual we have all the values for this one for the spark duration for the dual time for the peak voltage as well you can compare what you have on the workshop manual with what you are getting but generally uh, what happens uh, for example if you have wide air gap on a spark plug it will shorten the uh, spark duration some other faults like uh, too high compression pressure or too lean air fuel mixture can cause short spark duration as well but if my spark duration is too high, if you are comparing the spark duration on multiple cylinders and on one cylinder spark duration is too long, you may have some problems like narrow air gap on a spark plug or too low compression pressure or too rich air fuel mixture. But basically uh, what you can get if you, uh, if you have the workshop manual, you can have a look at the workshop manual for finding all the values, for example, for the dual time, for the peak voltage and the spark duration, and if they are all okay, you can accept the waveform as a good waveform. 
and some other problems obviously because we are working on the ignition system defective ignition coil can cause problem as well i've had so many cases that when i check the way for spark duration is too short here it means basically i don't have any spark because the ignition coil is actually faulty all right guys thank you very much for watching i hope you find the video helpful don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic video